in this illustration we'll uh, analyze a situation in which a lens is fitted at tank wall here the figure shows a tank of width 80 cm on one side wall an equiconvex lens of focal length 30 cm is fixed we can see here the tank is filled with water and on the other side a plane mirror is attached in front of the lens we are required to find where the final image of an object is produced by the system which is placed at a distance 90 cm on the axis here in solution we can see we need to refract the light rays first flow from object in air to glass then glass to water which is again reflected from mirror then again it is from water to glass and glass to air so here we first consider for lens focal length we can write as r by twice of mu minus 1 because it is an equiconvex lens this implies the value of radius of curvature we are getting as 2f multiplied by mu minus 1 which is 2 into 30 multiplied by 0 0.5 that is equals to 30 centimeter so both the surfaces of this lens are having a radius of curvature 30 centimeter now if we one by one consider refraction from air to glass then in this situation we can take uh, a u is equals to minus 90 centimeter r we take as plus 30 centimeter we take mu 1 is equals to 1 and we take mu 2 is equals to 3 by 2 because light is going from air to glass if we use it in the refraction formula mu 2 by v minus mu 1 by u is equals to mu 2 minus mu 1 by r see what we are getting this will be 3 by 2v plus 1 by 90 is equals to this mu 2 minus mu 1 is 1 by 2 upon r is 30 so we simplify this it will give us 3 by 2v is equals to 1 by 60 minus 1 by 90 that is 1 by 180 so the value of v we are getting is plus 270 centimeter this is our v1 that is the image produced in glass if we consider everywhere on the right of the front face there is glass then next uh, we can consider the refraction from glass to water because now light ray will enter from glass to water where we can take the object distance uh, u to be equals to plus 270 because this image will act as an object for the second surface of lens this 270 centimeter r is minus 30 centimeter here we can take mu 1 to be 3 by 2 and mu 2 for water it can be taken as 4 by 3 so if we substitute these values in the refraction formula this will give us 4 by 3 v minus this will be 3 by 2 into 270 is equals to this mu 2 minus mu 1 if we take 4 by 3 minus uh, 3 by 2 that will be minus 1 by 6 divided by minus 30 centimeter so on simplifying this we are getting 4 by 3 v is equals to this uh, 1 by 180 plus 1 by 180 that will be 1 by 90 so the value of v we are getting is plus uh, 120 centimeter this v2 this is the image produced by the second surface of a lens at the interface with water. So the image will be produced on 120 centimeter to the right of it, where a plane mirror is placed at 80 centimeters. So 40 centimeter to the left of mirror image will be produced. That means the image will be produced at the midpoint of the tank. And now we again consider light is going from glass to again from water to again glass so if we consider for refraction from water to glass because now light is again entering into the lens from the right side here we can take the value of u to be equals to plus 40 centimeter the radius of curvature we can take as minus 30 centimeter 
here mu one is equals to from air to glass it is getting so mu one is four by three and the value of mu two we are getting is three by two. So here if we again substitute the values in this refraction formula this can be written as three by two v minus four by three into forty is equals to this mu two minus mu one that can be written as one by six upon minus thirty. On uh, simplifying this, we are getting three by two v is equals to this one by thirty minus one by one eighty, and that is equals to five by one eighty. So the value of v we are getting here is uh, this will be two seventy by five. So this will be fifty four centimeter. So this plus fifty four centimeter. This we can write as our v three. That is. Uh, A virtual image produced on the right side of this lens at a distance 54 centimeter. And now the last refraction is to be carried out from glass to air again. So again, we can take for refraction from glass to air. In this situation, we take U is equals to plus 54 centimeter. We take R is equals to in the situation plus thirty centimeter. Here the value of mu one we take as three by two, and we take mu two is equals to one because light is finally coming into air after which no further refraction will take place. So here if we substitute the values in the same refraction formula, this will be one by v minus. This three by two into fifty four is equals to this one minus three by two is minus one by two divided by thirty. So on simplifying, we are getting one by v is equals to this one by thirty six minus one by sixty. And further on simplifying this, we are getting one by thirty six minus one by sixty will be one by ninety. This implies the final image is produced at. Ninety centimeter from the lens. That will be the answer for this problem, and the result is coming out as plus ninety. That means the final image produces virtual and at the position behind of this lens, as final light rays will be diverging.